Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Welcome back as we continue our journey through the Gospels. Now, how do you feel when you are hungry? Are you usually in a good mood? Now, do you like people to bother you or try to trick you at this time? Probably not. You are probably more thinking about feed me please. Now in this episode, we will see how Jesus handled temptations even when he was hungry. Today's episode is entitled, Jesus is Tempted. And it's taken from Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. It's a short story, but an important story. And I would invite you to read this scripture after you listen to the story. The reference text is taken from Matthew 4.10. Jesus said to the devil, Go away from me, Satan. It is written in the scriptures, You must worship the Lord your God. Serve only him. Now on to the story. Now, the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. And Jesus ate nothing for 40 days and nights. Yes, he fasted and he prayed. And after this, he was very hungry and I'm sure very vulnerable also. And that's when the devil came to him and the devil said, If you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Now, I'm sure he knew he was the Son of God. The devil knew this, but he was trying to tempt him. And Jesus answered, It is written in the scriptures, A person does not live only by eating bread, but a person lives by everything the Lord says. So the devil realized he failed, so he took him and he led him to Jerusalem, right by the temple, and he put Jesus on the very top of the temple. And the devil said, if you are the son of God, jump off. And he used scripture. He said, it is written in the scriptures that the angels will take care of you and they will catch you. Your foot will not even hit anything. But Jesus answered him again. It is also written in the scriptures. Do not test the Lord your God. After this, he realized that he failed, and he tried a third time. He led him to the top of a very high mountain, and he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and all the great things that in those kingdoms. And the devil said, If you will bow down and worship me, I will give you all these things. And of course, Jesus realized this was a bad deal. This was a terrible deal. And he did not do it at all. And this is when he gave, G- gave the Satan his final answer. He said, Jesus said to the devil, Go away from me, Satan. It is written in the scriptures, You must worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And after that, the devil left Jesus and then some angels came to Jesus and ministered to him. Now let us think it through. Jesus fasted and prayed to prepare him for the temptation. And sometimes we too have to fast and pray for special things. He did not even argue with Satan. He did not go into a debate with him. All he said was, it is written. And of some people would say, that's the end of the story. Just, it is written. You know, we can say this even when we are vulnerable. We have to remember, there are no good deals with the devil. He does not care about us. But God will always care for us. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. Jesus went into the desert and was confronted by the tempter who tried to offer bad deals to our Redeemer. Christ was hungry and vulnerable, but strong enough to know he could not give in to the evil one just so. He showed his knowledge of the scripture he had not forgotten. 
by facing each temptation with the words, it is written. These words we should use each and every day if we too want to chase that deceiver away. All right, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one. How many temptations did Jesus receive? A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, five. What is the answer? And the answer is B, three. Question number two. What was Jesus' common response to the devil in this story? A. Let us discuss this. B. It is not logical. C. I don't believe that is right. Or is it D. It is written. What is the answer? And the answer is D. It is written. Question number three. Which of one of these, which one of these did the devil mention in one of his temptations? A. Jesus' mother. B. His disciple. C. The scripture. Or D. A trip to Mount Nebo. What is the answer? And the answer is C. The scripture, the devil also tried to use scripture as he tempted Jesus. And question number four. What was the devil's main intention in the story? A. He wanted Jesus to worship him. B. He wanted to display his power. C. He wanted to make things easy for Jesus. Or D. He wanted to feed Jesus. What is the answer? And the answer is A. He wanted Jesus to worship him. All right. Thank you so much for taking the quiz. It is now prayer time. So let us bow our heads and close our eyes and let us pray. Heavenly Father, when we are presented with temptations, Help us to remember the example of Jesus. Help us to remember the words, it is written. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And I will ask you to kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. And I would also appreciate it if you like this video and help me share it with others. Well, this is all for now, but as you go through the week, I want to remind you that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.